Hey everybody, my name is Kalle Slaap, watchmaker in the Netherlands and this is a dream come true. Well, for me personally, I couldn't even dream that, that it was feasible. A real original Thomas Tompion here on my workbench. Thomas Tompion is called the father of British horology born in 1739 and this is one of his originals and that is insane that it is in a private collection it should be in a museum uh, at least in Greenwich because they have quite a bit of uh, Tompion's work uh, well here it is even on the cover of watchmakers of the world well there he is and what does it say and then i'm going to show you the inside but it is a moment for me that this this is horological royalty it simply states thomas Tompion. 1639 just imagine 17th century one of the greatest clock and watchmakers full stop due to the supremacy of english horology makes one of the finest and the first watches with a balance spring this is exceptional and i'm going to show you there is the camera and I'm going to show you through my microscope the genius of 17th century horology the goat what as far as I'm concerned because for me this is the first modern pocket watch I know there are several uh, far earlier uh, the first is around 1500 German uh, but this is smaller and everything you see is the start of a new era and Remember, everybody knows uh, Abraham Louis Breguet from Neuchâtel. This was a hundred years year before Breguet. Beautiful bullseye, very high crystal, and again. You may have seen some of these pocket watches before, but this is the first. Um, all pocket watches afterwards are derived from the work of Thomas Tompion. He was the best in his field at the time. A um, very serious collector was kind enough to lend me these um, well, beautiful pieces of art it is now the middle of the night <laughs> it really is um, and once you've seen this video um, all the beautiful watches are back in a safe where they belong but here Thomas Tompion London number 3006 a very early one one of the first movements with a balance spring a spiral all the things we take for granted these ones these watches are really thick because there is a verge escapement and there you can see 
there. One wheel is in another plane at 90 degrees angle to the rest of the movement. That makes it really uh, thick. Just the intricate work is insane. I am completely in awe. Thomas Tompion, London 306. I couldn't even believe that it was in a personal possession. It's a private collection. Do you see the circular graining still being done like that? Uh, what you see, the shiny bits are gold, but fire gilded. And that means simply um, to protect from corrosion. There's the balance wheel, highly polished, but just how the pivots are cut here. So high quality. Looks even modern. Please remember 17th century, the 1690s. The attention to detail. The great master himself. I am floored that I'm able to even touch some of his work. He was so important. Um, he's portrayed in the film uh, Longitude. I put a link in the description. Longitude 2000. And he's buried in Westminster Cathedral with Graham, but to have an original Thomas Tompion on my bench is simply a dream come true. Well, if you are a fan of horology, this is Genesis. This is where it all started. A hundred years before um, Brege, a piece of art and a piece of history. I really do hope you enjoyed this stream. <laughs> hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye.